All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello, hello, hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Test Man of Log and TV. And let's get started. So we have got two knives to check out today. And I should have, let's see, hold on. Uh, this is the awkward moment like KC always has at the start of every one of his videos. Well, I was going to say I should have the box out here, but I can't find the box. There we go. Uh, so these are... From uh, oh, uh, Ontario Knife Company through Smoky Mountain Knife Works. So these are the Ontario Knife Company Camp Plus series. Um, and there are two of them, of course. I bought two of them. These are like $9 a piece at SMKW. And so I used um, uh, last month's, I'm a little behind, last month's uh, SMKW affiliate money. Now the way that works, guys is I have an affiliate with SMKW, and if you use my link, which is down in the description, and also on Instagram, uh, in my bio link, in my link tree, uh, if you use that link, I you don't really get a discount or anything, but I get a little bit back from that, and uh, since you guys don't get anything, I immediately turn it around into knives uh, that I can review and check out and then give away to you guys. So, um, we'll talk about how we're going to do that here in a minute, but there are two of these. Uh, this is the Camp Plus Santoku, and this is the Camp Plus uh, Chef's Knife. Now, there are there is a third one, and it's a bread knife. I did not pick that one up, um, you know, just because I narrowed it down to the two I was most interested in, and uh, that is what we've got here. Now, um, by the way, there's the SMKW sticker up there. Thanks to those guys for their support of the channel. Now, let's take a quick look at both of these and uh, go from there. Now, we'll do some cutting footage here in a minute, and then we will come back and do some specs, and then we will be done. So at first, we're just going to go over. Now, this is uh, like a grivery or plastic handle. You do have a back spring since it is a uh, lockback knife. Um, and again, these are not going to be fidgety. They are meant to be something that you can put in your camp kit or in your camp or, you know, your, uh, you know, whatever you can use them in your kitchen. You can use them in your, you know, whatever fishing bag. I don't know. Um, they feel pretty good in the hand. You do have a little area to choke up, but be careful with the blade. Um, but back here, you got plenty of room for your hand. Again, we'll talk specs in a minute. Um, and these are made, I believe in uh, China. Yep. There's your 1989, 1889 Ontario Knife Company there and your Camp Plus Santoku. Now, um, you do have the, uh, I cannot remember what those are called, but it does have the little lines uh, that a Santoku is known for to try to pull the, the, the um, food off of it when you're cutting. Uh, and you have the very Santoku looking blade here. Now, let's put that one there. And again, very similar. Now, the handles are slightly different. No, they're pretty much the same. Uh, you do have uh, really basic screws, but they are nice and countersunk here. You do have a lanyard hole, which don't know if I'd ever use a lanyard on such a large knife. You do have a little bit more room to choke up. Now, this one is a big, tall, full, flat grind. Uh, and this one is is a hollow and i'm telling you it's hollow now they don't tell you what steel these are but some of us were guessing they're os8 i am not super sure about that um but anyway uh really good looking knife and i will tell you uh as far as just cutting this one to me cuts better with that hollow grind i will say you'll see in the cutting footage uh because it's a little steeper on the grind uh it didn't do super well at um peeling a uh, cucumber, um, but I'm not sure that's what this is intended for. Anyway, this is more for, you know, chopping prep and that kind of thing. And so is the other one. Get a paring knife for the other. So uh, you, ca you can do it. It's just, again, because of it being at an angle, I had a little more of a tough time. They both did come fairly sharp and they work, uh, like I said, pretty well. Now they are very thin, uh, as you can see, and in the hand, they do feel thin. Uh, you know, it's not does not fill your hand out. You know, I would say ergonomically, it's okay. It's like a kitchen knife. I wish they were a little fatter in the handle and a little uh, not so tall, um, and they'd feel pretty good. 
Uh, but again, they're made to be a folder. And so the handle has to be made to, to encapsulate the blade. I mean, the folder, the uh, handle has to be made to encapsulate the blade. Now, um, again, we'll do specs here in just a minute. But heck, we always do comparisons. Uh, so let's just take the one uh, of the two that it's actually sort of similar. Nah, it's, a, it's still a lot bigger in the handle and a lot bigger in the blade. Uh, than the Ontario Rat 1. We won't bother with the Rat 2 because it's way smaller. Uh, now, again, uh, I enjoyed, I didn't get a lot of time to play with these in the kitchen. Uh, you will see some cutting footage here in just a minute, and I apparently didn't clean it great, so I'll do that again. Um, you will see some cutting footage here in a minute of a cucumber. I, I tried to uh, peel the cucumber, which didn't go super well, uh, and chopping both of these did magnificent job chopping. Again, I would say this one does the better job with that kind of thing uh, for me. Uh, this one didn't seem maybe quite as sharp, uh, but again, you can put your own edge on it. The, like I said, uh, very cool. So uh, let's wrap this part of it up. Let's go ahead and do the cutting footage. And then when I come back, uh, we will do some specs and uh, wrap this up and talk about what's next for these beauties. Here we go. All right, so we're in the kitchen with these two, uh, and we're going to see what we can do here. Now, I would usually use a paring knife for this, but I'm going to uh, use this chef's knife and see how it goes. So we're going to try to do a little bit of peeling here. I probably won't keep the camera on the whole time because this is probably boring, but maybe I'll just do the whole thing. So I'm just, uh, and I'm, I will tell you this, the paring knife would have probably been better because I'm taking off way more peeling than I should. Uh, but this thing can definitely cut that the issue with it being a paring knife is with that hollow grind, you have to go a little bit deeper. Um, and so tell you what, we're going to cut the camera off for a second. No, I'll tell you, we'll finish it off. What the heck? We're not taking that much off, but, uh, it definitely is a good cutter for this. Uh, I just have a tendency to take too much, uh, peel off with it. So let's tell you what, we'll try the Santoku and we'll see how that does. That one's thinner, so it might do a lot better. Yes, indeed. See, I she's just using the wrong knife uh, for the wrong thing. So uh, for the right thing. You know what I mean. All right, so we're going to finish skinning this guy up and then we will chop him or her. All right, quick pause while I finish. We established this, that neither one of these knives are great pairing knives. Uh, this one with the hollow grind is a little bit, um, yeah, it's just, it's just too hard to get it angled down. And when you angle it down, you're cutting too much. This one is just a little bit too big uh, for a pairing knife. But I bet you both of them will be perfect for this next task, which is chopping this cucumber up. And the answer so far with the Santoku is absolutely very, very good. So let's put him to the side and let's try the chef's knife now. Oh, this is even better. Like I said, with that hollow grind, this one absolutely is a slicer and a half. Uh, this would be my choice of the two. Um, although the Santoku is obviously better for larger stuff um and maybe meat and things like that but this thing is absolutely perfect uh, for this so there you go guys uh, i'll go back and finish the review now but this is uh the uh, camp plus from okc ontario knife company this is the santoku and this is the chef's knife uh, back to me to finish up the review all right i hope that was helpful in some way i know it wasn't the best cutting footage uh, but I tried to peel with a knife that wasn't really made for peeling, but the chopping was really good. Now, these are both available at SMKW for $8.99. Uh, the Santoku is 9.5 inches overall. It does have, by the way, long. both of them have long pulls, but I just pinched them open. Um, uh, it is 4.25 blade length, 5.25 inches closed, uh, satin finish, of course, and the weight on that one, the Santuku, is 3.6 ounces. And on the Chef folder, I'm trying to get it open. Sorry about that. Is uh, 3.6 ounces also. And the, the dimensions 
are exactly the same, 9.5 inches overall. So there you go, guys. And they are, oh, by the way, the uh, they say the chef's knife is a stonewash, but it really doesn't look stonewash to me. It looks like kind of a satiny thing, but, you know, that's what they say. So uh, what are we doing now? Um, so I've, I've kind of, I'm finishing up my review on these. Uh, and this is an SMKW affiliate purchase, which means it's time to give it away. So if you've made it to this far in the video, uh, your comment is your entry. I'll leave this open for about a week. Same rules as always. I'm going to ship in the U.S. You need to be 18 with the parent's permission. One entry per person. I'll make sure of that by uh, doing uh, cancel off duplicate users, duplicate entries. And uh, so, but you need to like the video. You um, and you need to comment on the video, and uh, I'll pick a I'll pick a winner somewhere down the road, uh, guys. I want to thank you for using my link. Please continue to do so. It helps me to be able to buy knives uh, to review and to give away on the channel. I've already got the next one uh, in here. I just need to uh, get ahead because I am behind on reviews like crazy. So uh, I need to get ahead and get the, this out there, and maybe a week or two down the road, you'll see the next one uh, as well. So there you go, guys. That is this month's SMKW uh, affiliate um, knife, and uh, somebody's going to enjoy these little babies, big babies, whatever they are. <laughs> and uh, guys, give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment down below, and I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, uh, please let me know that. But again, don't forget your comment is your entry, and thank you so much for watching. The Knives Fast Channel.